Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Everything is tech here with a review of the Toshiba 40E 200U1 HD TV. Now this is a Toshiba HD TV and to me it, it's beautiful, that's all I have to say, it's beautiful. It is definitely my second full 1080p HD TV and I must say this is magnificent. Now. Before I actually get on to the full review, I actually want to show you some of the specs, which is right over there. Yeah, over there. I'm going to zoom in right there for you. So it has some of the basic features of the TV, 1080p, Full HD. So you can definitely plug in your Xbox 360 or your Blu-ray disc drive and, you know, have the witness the full picture quality that it has to actually, you know, give out. Now there's also four HDMI ports which is really nice for me I definitely need HDMI ports all my consoles all my cable disc and my blu-ray drive those are all connected via HDMI so HDMI is definitely a, nece a necessity for me and you also have gaming mode which is basically a mode it, when you plug in your console either if it's the PlayStation or the Xbox if you plug it in via component or HDMI the TV automatically adjusts to the highest picture quality and that's basically all it's to it so you don't have to do any of the settings or any of that sort there's also PC input I actually skipped over that but there's also PC input and basically allows you to connect your PC obviously now the port that uses that you have to use when you do connect your PC to this TV is a VGA so that might be a little hassle for some people and maybe not for others but if you don't have a if you have a div or a dvi cable and you want to make it vga there's always converters which are about five dollars ten dollars so that's not a big worry you know if you're really into that so well i guess it exited out but the picture quality for this is amazing and i'm just gonna show you a little avatar I guess I'm, gonna just, I'm not going to play it because of copyright but this is avatar it definitely doesn't look that good from the camera but from you know my perspective 1080p on this TV looks beautiful I've definitely seen about 20 blu-ray movies so far and it's been about maybe a, a month and I definitely enjoy all the picture quality I'm really trying to switch over to blu-ray discs instead of actual DVDs now because the picture quality is just amazing I just cannot get that over enough and you really if you're gonna watch movies blu-ray movies game on this I definitely do a lot of Xbox I'm a hardcore gamer so I definitely use this TV and for even gaming it's beautiful for movies it's beautiful even if you're watching regular regular 480p movies they're definitely really nice as well now someone actually asked me do you have any HDMI lag on this definitely no lag at all Again, if you use HDMI or use components, you'll have no lag. It's beautiful. I don't even think you'd have any lag with AV cables. But, again, why would you use AV cables when you have a 1080p TV right over here? So, again, that you know does not make much of a sense. Now, the second probably you know, feature of this TV is the sound. Now, the sound is okay. It's decent. It's not the best I've heard, nor the least. It can go up pretty high, that's for sure. But to but again to me it does not matter because I have my alternative, my sound system, my Blu-ray sound system, home theater, whatever that's called. But I have an alternative, so it does not matter to me as much. But the sound quality to most people, uh, I guess it's okay, it's decent. You can definitely watch movies on it and enjoy the sound quality that the TV produces without having a, another sound system or anything like that. So that's also very nice and especially when you buy a TV you definitely need to know how the picture quality is, how many ports it has and the sound output. So those are the three things that this TV has and for a great price. Now let's actually get into the pricing. This TV is $700, not bad at all, believe me when I say this. There's much more expensive TVs that, that cannot produce as good of a picture quality as this can. And this is Toshiba, that's what really got me shocked. I, I, I'm really a, a Samsung person for HDTV. I use Samsung or, or Sony. I have a Toshiba here. I'm definitely really you know impressed with the picture quality. I'm really just amazed. I did not know Toshiba could make such good TVs with the picture quality. So it's been, I guess, a month or a month and a half, you know, really roughly a month and a half 
and I haven't experienced any issues with the TV. It's perfectly fine. It works fine. And I'm gonna actually knock my uh, knock the wood on that because you know it's definitely no problems. My previous AC TV that had a lot of problems. Maybe every maybe six months I had to get a new replacement for it. So I haven't had any problems with this TV. It's been magnificent and you know that's all I can say. Now before I end this video or conclude it, I just want to say you get two things or a couple things with the box. You get the TV, then you get the stand which I have right over here. And you're really gonna need to assemble it. It gets a little annoying. You definitely need to have two people to assemble this so one person will probably need to hold the stand and another person will need to hold the TV and the person holding the stand you need to get a screwdriver and screw about four screws in the stand so the TV would stand up without that the TV would just fall you can't even have it standing that's also very nice well that's not nice but it's a little annoying that you have to assemble the stand so how lightweight is this TV it's 26 pounds it's definitely not much of a hassle to carry around you could definitely carry this around 26 pounds that's not that much so how thick is this it's a little more than one inch maybe 1.3 inches thick that's really not much of a problem especially of how lightweight the TV is so that's basically the side view you have you know the vents you have many vents in the back you have vents in the top over here and then you have HDMI and then a few AV cables. I've got, actually gone over that. So really, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. And if you like this video, if it was helpful, please do like it down somewhere over here. And you know, liking it really helps me out. And if you like my videos, please do subscribe. It really helps me out again. So thank you for watching once again. Take care. And as I promised, here are the switches and the ports. Over here is the power button. It's the first button. And then you have the channel, the volume, the menu and input buttons, as well as one HDMI port over here, and a set of AV input, AV cable inputs, and one USB port here. And in the back here, we have three HDMIs. So one over here, two, and three, along with an antenna connector an optical audio right over there then a PC input for the audio then a VGA cable right over there and then we have component cables component cable inputs as well as one AV cable input as well over there so those are the ports and the switches so again thank you for watching and take care